If you're in the market for some new swimming goggles, stick around, I wanna help with a little buyer's guide. Hello and welcome to My Glass, Tyler. Today we're talking about what makes a good pair of swimming goggles. From goggle design to lens colors, we're gonna walk you through top features that will have you enjoying your swim, not focusing on uncomfortable and obstructive eyewear. I wanna get out there immediately that from our perspective, we are definitely the leaders in eyewear, but specifically we are the leaders in prescription eyewear. So if you're an avid swimmer, you have bought many goggles in the past and you don't need prescription, you're gonna think this list and this guide is a little bit lacking because like I said, we're specialist in prescription eyewear. So when it comes to swim goggles, we only carry prescription ready swim goggles, which is what we have here on the desk. And so th there may be some pieces that we're gonna be lacking. One thing I can say without a doubt is that we, prescription or not, we do know lenses. And so that piece might be helpful to you if you have a little more experience with buying goggles in the non-prescription world. I just wanted to get that out of the way because Otherwise, this might seem a little disingenuous, but I do still think there's some good info here, so stick around if you're interested. If you have prescription needs, by the way, very obviously, we got you covered. Don't worry, these are all RX friendly. If at the end of this, you're ready to order, which would be awesome, don't forget about Sporter X. Definitely don't forget about our Seabitter Guarantee because with that, you can shop with Sporter X risk-free. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, so what were we looking for when we chose these goggles? These are really the only swim goggles that we carry. We do have some, you know, different, obviously, sorry to go on a tangent, but we do have dive masks that are different from these, of course. Uh, those are a very different design, not something you'd wear in a pool, something you'd wear more out in the ocean when you're enjoying snorkeling or scuba diving. Those are also prescription ready. But anyway, these are the only actual swim goggles that we carry and we carry them because they are prescription ready. But what we were also looking for, of course, was a good quality goggle, something with an adjustable strap. Uh, the bridge in particular is super important. Not everyone has the same uh, distance between their eyes. So a fit, especially with something as important as uh, the fit of the eye cup with a pair of swim goggles, because you want to make sure that it keeps water out of your eyes and pressure off of your nose, you want something that's adjustable in the bridge. And what we have here is definitely adjustable in the bridge. It's a little different between the Wiley X Propulsion and the Rec Specs options here. I can get into that a little bit if you'd like. And if you're wondering what else we're looking for, we're looking for you to join the family. We have lots of really good quality videos, both instructional, how-tos, informational, that you can be a part of if you hit that subscribe. If you're liking this video like this, that'd be awesome. It would mean a lot to us. We want you to be a part of the family and, and see all of the good stuff that we have to offer, and that'll happen if you subscribe. Also, things we were looking for in goggles is a good strap. You want silicone. Silicone is amazing because it's inherently extremely grippy as well as very stretchy and comfortable and accommodating. And that is what you're gonna get with all of these guys here. Really superior retention. It's gonna ensure comfort. Also, uh, you have adjustability, of course, not everyone's head is the same size. So all of these, not only silicone straps, but definitely extremely adjustable. Now, when it comes to lenses, not every swimming goggle lens is ideal for every situation. Of course, we have both indoor and outdoor swimming pools. For indoor, I always recommend something that's clear. If you really like a tinted lens, if you like some color enhancement, something that's a really light color, because that will allow the most amount of light through the lens, and depending on the lens color that you're going with, it can give you a brighter visual experience. It can give you a little more boost in your color perception. Do keep in mind that any color, even yellow, even anything that you think is a lens color that makes things seem brighter is going to actually limit the amount of light passing through the lens. Any tint, no matter the color, is going to absorb some degree of light transmission. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for something that allows the most light through, 
Clear is always going to be the one to pick. When it comes to outdoor swimming pools, of course, you have more light out there and you can go with something that is a darker lens. If you're used to swimming in really bright conditions, you might even wanna go with a mirrored lens. This is something that might be tougher to find. Again, I'm not well versed in non-prescription goggles uh, that might be available to find in non-prescription goggles. I can't speak to that quite so well, but I can tell you for sure, if you're a prescription wearer and you're looking for prescription goggles, we can definitely do mirror coatings. We can do all of the lens features that you're used to in any pair of eyewear. We got you covered on that. It'll help, uh, mirror coating, by the way, will help to reflect more light back. That's kind of the function of that. Uh, less light can make it through because more light is bouncing back. So it gives you a darker lens, allows you a little more comfortable eyewear experience, and it'll tone down that brightness, let you focus on the swim and be less distracted. Another lens feature that's a good option to consider is a polarized lens. N polarized isn't a, a catch-all fix for every condition, every scenario, every pair of eyewear, but in particular, it's really, really good for water. It can help considerably to cut through the glare. Glare is a big deal off of water just because of the, the horizontal surface of the water. Light likes to bounce off of it quite a bit, and that can be super distracting. It can be problematic. It can be tiresome, it can make your eyes fatigued. A polarized lens can help considerably cutting off that glare. So again, you don't have that extra distraction. You can focus on the swim. Another good option that you can consider are transitions lenses. If you aren't familiar with transitions, it's a variable lens tint. It's a tint that will react to light conditions. The brighter it is, the darker the lens will be. The less bright it is, the less dark the lens will be. So if you're indoors or outdoors, you're kind of covered in both conditions. So again, a really nice option to consider, especially if you bounce between indoor and outdoor pools. You can swim in just about any environment. And by the way, there are some transitions options that are also polarized. So maybe something to consider. Now let's get into a lens feature that's a little bit contentious for me uh, because on its own, out of context, sounds like an objective good idea. And that is an anti-fog lens coating. And this is where, again, I have to go back to that kind of my, my overarching thought of us only carrying prescription options and there might be really, really awesome and potentially better non-prescription goggle options out there in the world. I can really only speak to my experience with these ones. And I'm thinking in the context of prescription wearers. When it comes to anti-fog, it sounds like a really good idea objectively because fogging happens. If you know any time you've spent in the water with goggles, you know fogging happens. You probably have your own method of fighting fogging on the inside of the lens. I know, I remember being taught that you spit inside a lens and rub it around and then rinse it out. And then it's gonna be better at fighting fog. Very well may work, even in the prescription one. The thing I wanna mention, in the world of the feature that exists that's an anti-fog coating for prescription lenses, the way ours works is that it is a coating that absorbs moisture. It can only absorb so much moisture until it needs to be refreshed, either with some drops or with a little time away from moisture. When you're in the water, there is no time away from moisture. So it's not really gonna work the way that I think it should work or the expectation will be that it will work if you choose that option. Granted, the inside may work, However, that would only be if you didn't get any water on the inside of the goggle after you let it refresh. And I think that that's unrealistic. I think that no matter what, you're very likely going to get water or moisture on the inside of the goggle lens. So something to be aware of if you're getting that. I don't think that that's the best feature to go for, even in the prescription eyewear. There are probably in the non-prescription world some anti-fog options. If they exist, I can't speak to them. I hope they work really well. So as it is, anti-fog coating would be awesome, can be awesome. There are also some over-the-counter options for anti-fog solutions. It's an awesome concept. In the non-prescription world, hopefully you guys are covered in the prescription world. I think that there isn't a perfect solution. Maybe try those over-the-counter options. I don't think that our coating in particular works amazingly well in swim goggles. Keep that in mind. I'm trying to be just a totally open book here. Okay, 
We've gotten into a lot. I wanna to talk to you now about the goggles that I have on the table, just so that you have a little bit of familiarity with them. These two here are the Rec Specs. They are both called the Shark. This is called the Shark Regular. This is called the Shark K, as in kids. Everything is identical about these two, except for the kids version comes in some more fun, loving colors, and it comes with a smaller strap. The strap, uh, of course, should be smaller because children's heads are smaller than adult heads. Uh, the design's a little different. They have this single silicone, thick silicone strap in the kids version versus kind of the dual strap with some uh, kind of grippy beads here on the inside of the strap on the adult version. Both of them do come with the same installed bridge, the width of the installed bridge is the same on them, which is interesting to me because I felt like the kids should have been a little bit narrower. Regardless, both of them come with this additional piece here. It's another silicone, pretty thick silicone uh, piece here that is cut to fit. So it is completely customizable. And then there are two set screws that allow you to keep it in place. And they have that uh, taken care of really well, by the way, both the right and left eye cup are marked. I don't really think there's a way to mess that up, honestly, unless you want to put them on upside down. But regardless, really awesome goggles here. Uh, they've done very well for us. People have really enjoyed the Shark. Next up is the Wiley X. This is the Propulsion. A little newer for us, but it's been on the market for probably three maybe even four years now. Another awesome goggle. A little different in the design here. You do have a uh, two separate uh, straps here that, well, it's one strap, but it combines together to make two completely separate as opposed to this guy that has the split right there in the back. I don't know that there's any functional benefit to one design or the other. I'm not as avid a swimmer. So I don't know that there's any reason to go with one of the, over the other, uh, but this has a little different bridge design. So instead of being cut to width, there are four different size bridges here and they pop in and out uh, pretty straightforward, uh, as secure as you need it to be without being worried that it's gonna pop off on its own as I struggle to push it back on. Not too much else, both, all of these options, I say both because I kind of consider these two to be the same, function amazingly well, especially if you need prescription. Check them out. Okay, I think I got a little exhaustive. I'm sorry if this went long. I hope you learned something. I hope you have a good idea as to the perfect pair for you. Now, if any of these sound great for you, stick around for a moment longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button. And also, if you're ready to order, do not forget about that Seabetter guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And if peace of mind is your thing, we have opticians, by the way. Again, if your prescription, a prescription wary of any questions, any concerns, our opticians, we have many. They are super friendly and extremely knowledgeable and would love to help. So why not reach out to us and let us help you? Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this is interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you're ready to shop these great styles, which why not? Click this button right here. Also, if you'd like some more content to consume as we all do these days, check out us out on our social media outlets because I think you'll like it. We have great stuff. That's why I recommend it. <laughs>